rely the coaching guys kind of individually to play to your strengths? Uh, it's definitely been it's definitely been good because, like you said, he's a he's an actual corners coach, a DBs coach. Last year, obviously, we didn't we didn't have that at a Royal Manning, but it is what it is, and. Uh, yeah, he just he just pushes us to, to work with our body types. Like Kana, he's a more big physical guy, so uses his hands at the line and different things like that. And JD's a, a small, speed, speedy guy, so obviously uses speed when he's covering guys. And uh, just those different things, it, it definitely helps us. You've had a chance to see these wide receivers all camp. How excited are you to see them perform against a different team? Uh, I'm definitely excited for that because uh, Obviously, iron shopping iron, so we've been giving each other that work all camp. Yeah, I know, and I know, I know they're that. excited to, to go against another team as well. How do you feel about the depth right now? And apologies if you've been asked about that already. I know we're just jumping in there. But uh, you guys seem to have at least six or seven guys right now in the cornerback position that are going to be buying for playing time. So mm -hmm. uh, that in contrast to years past, how do you feel about the depth in your position? Uh, I think it's definitely going to help because Guys aren't going to get as many reps. They're not going to be as fatigued during the game. So uh, us having that depth definitely helps the room. I'm sure you've already been asked. I'm sorry. It's all good. Jaden, <laughs> what kind of camp did he have? It sounds like it, it was very consistent. I think was what Brent said this morning. Yes, sir. Uh, definitely consistent camp. Uh, like I told them, uh, obviously freshman year got off to a great start. And then sophomore, junior year kind of up and down with them. But since then, he's he's been locked in. And Coach Vallad, uh, uh, he's been a, a great factor for us as well. Uh, as far as Jaden goes, he's been doing a great job and I think he's going to continue to do well. Confidence is just one of those things, especially the cornerback position. Yeah. That, like, once you lose it, it's gone for a season. Mm -hmm. Just a refresh for everybody. I think that's what it was for him, yeah. yes sir. Tough is that, I mean, we've seen a lot of defensive backs come through this program, have great freshman years and then it kind of slips off a little bit. How tough is just this league in general? And, I mean, even though there are maybe not as many NFL quarterbacks walking around, but it still seems like it might be tough for a DB week in, week out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just because it's a pass-heavy conference, and it's not many teams that are going to run the ball. And all, most of the receivers on every team are pretty fast, so you're going to be covering faster guys sometimes, and sometimes they may be slower, but uh, different guys do different things um, as far as that. But uh, obviously, as a cornerback, you just got to have a one-play uh, one mindset. You can't just think about the next play. If uh, you give up a play, you just got to go uh, live with it, and it is what it is. You ever think back to that Peach Bowl when you were real young and yeah. how much you've grown from then? Yeah, how much sir, that was sir. a thrown to the fire moment and mm -hmm. just growing from then? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, I was a freshman, didn't get much playing time that year. And uh, I mean, after that, I just put my head down and worked and got to where I am now. Do you we, feel like there's any substantial difference? Because I know you played quite a bit of safety in the mm -hmm. past and kind of made the transition to a quarterback on a more full time basis back in 2020. But do you feel like there's a difference in the mentality you have to have as a quarterback versus as a safety? Uh, I think as a as a safety, you got to be a little bit more physical because obviously you're going to be in the run gaps and you're going to have to fit the run. Uh, more corner is more covering. You're going to be in like cover twos and cover threes, so you're not going to really have any spots in the uh, a gap or b gap. You're going to be mostly d gap when you're when you're trying to stop the run. So obviously, as a safety, you just got to be more physical. Um, definitely, just the the fact that he's a he's a engaged coach and he, he makes sure he, he just makes sure that uh, that we're locked in play in and play out, whether it's on the field or in the film room. He uh, makes us come up two or three times a day, and, and we're doing a good job of doing that.